Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for sign of Aquarius and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you like a personal reading, that's going to be down below in the description where you can find that on my website. You can also find a bunch of other things there on that website too and it's free to sign up and join. By the way, there is a 20% off personal readings by using the promo code down below in the comments. All right, and that lasts until Halloween. So only a few more days until that is gone and then it's back to normal. All right, but let's see what we have going on for our school year line sign of Aquarius today. There's the seven of swords. Okay, there's somebody here you decided not to take action towards because they're a liar. They're a liar. They hide a lot of things from you. They're sneaky. They're manipulative. So I feel like you decided not to take action towards this person. Aquarius, yeah, you decided to raise your vibration here and get away from this lower vibrational person and have you guys connected with aos here too but either way you're raising your vibration you're continuing to move towards the light you're getting out of darkness maybe this person tried to put you in a lot of darkness here aquarius and you're going through a double transformation is what it feels like for you all right some of you guys you may be transforming and maybe your family's transforming here too and you're you're about to be attracting in a lot of wealth a lot of money a lot of abundance here yeah, maybe there's somebody here, part of your family that's watching you. It could be like a kid or somebody younger than you. But what I also see is that there's people that are on the same soul journey as you. They're on the same spiritual journey as you that you're coming across. You're on the same same path. Let's go over here and let's see more for you. So what do we have? Okay, we have a lot of cards that are trying to fall out here. What is this? Ace of Swords. Then we have the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. So yeah, some of you guys could be getting out of, like, struggle here. I feel like you're seeing the truth here. I feel like you're seeing where you're supposed to be at or what's going to lead you towards um, being prosperous or abundant here. There may also be somebody here coming back around to you as well, Aquarius. Somebody here could be getting unblocked. Um, and I don't know, maybe you're getting the truth about that person. Yeah, you're, you're heading towards financial abundance here, financial prosperity. There's a lot of money coming in for you. There's the money, there's the family, there's the home here, there's the dogs, this is abundance, this is stability. Some of you guys, you're you're taking action towards your money. All right, that, that's how it's going to be there. But some of you guys may have a Leo coming your way with the King of Wands, Leo, Scorpio. Like a Leo, I get Scorpio here. And... Maybe you got options here, but I feel like we really have the spirit world wanting to connect with you, Aquarius, or maybe past loved ones. Maybe you know this. Maybe you're aware of this here. All right. Let's go over here to these cards and let's see more for you. What do we have for Aquarius? Yeah, we have people coming in wanting to work with you. So maybe there's a Leo and a Scorpio at your work that's that's wanting to collaborate with you on something, Aquarius. There's there's money coming in fast for you is what it feels like. It feels like you're going to be doing something different that's going to allow you to be ahead of the competition. It's going to allow you to do... It's going to... Um, I just knocked over my cards. That's always great. But it's going to allow you to beat out your competitors here you know queen of swords queen of swords is yourself where the male or female does not matter there's somebody here a lot of anxiety i hope that's not you there's the devil tower seven of pentacles i'm gonna clarify why is the devil here and the tower here actually but what i feel like is you guys are investing into yourselves here it could be your education self-care self-love business whatever something like that um, but I feel like your investments are gonna be paying off for you it feels like you have seeds that were planted those seeds are growing Aquarius um, whatever was the financial blockage has been removed but we're gonna clarify why is the devil here it's the devil in this deck kind of reminds me of like temptation but why what's happening here with the devil and Aquarius is reading tower again clarifying the devil is another tower here ten of cups four of swords page of cups four bunch of cards good confirmation here of something emperor 
Okay. Strength. I don't know. There may be somebody here trying to tempt you into being in a relationship with them, but then there's a tower. Why the tower? There's a double tower, but there's somebody falling out of this tower. What's going on here? What? Why is the tower with the devil? The Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Star, the cards are making no sense. Okay, I feel, okay, the illusion, there was somebody here that was an illusion. I feel like a, this is kind of a weird, <laughs> I don't know, these cards are kind of very weird, what the story actually is, but I feel like there was somebody here that was living in an illusion, but the illusion has broken free, like you broke free from your, from some sort of illusion that somebody here was trying to pull over you, right? Almost, yeah, I feel like there was somebody here, maybe you are with, once again, maybe maybe they lied a lot, maybe they are hiding a lot of themselves, or they're wearing a mask, right, Aquarius? But I feel like you've finally seen, or you're going to be seeing, how that person truly is here. Why is my phone going off? I didn't want to do anything today. Uh, <laughs> Aquarius. But what I see for you is... Like, it looks like, and I forgot what I'm saying, but it looks like there's somebody here you, you left, you stopped talking to, because they were trying to lie to you. There's somebody else coming in, but th for some reason this is like a temptation. Here, so I don't know. I don't really like the idea of it being temptation. Aquarius. Some of you guys may choose to be single with the Nine of Pentacles, though. Like I said, maybe you're deciding to actually invest into yourself. Like, there could be love choices and whatever here. But I feel like a lot of you guys are like, let's invest into self-love, self-care here. You know, investing into your money with the Nine of Pentacles. Your income here. We have the crows you're connecting with. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Hermit. Yeah, some of you guys may go into Hermit mode. See, this is strange. Because like I said, there's somebody here trying to tempt you into being in a relationship with them. But I feel, I feel like you don't fall for their temptation, Aquarius. I almost feel like that, right? Because it's there, but then I see you being single. But I feel like maybe... Maybe it's just you don't want to be in a relationship. You just want to be yourself here. You want to be the star. Maybe because this person is like, I don't know, maybe it's just too much. Or so I don't there's something weird about it. But I don't know what it is. You guys will know what it is cuz you'll you'll be the one living it. But I, there's something that just makes you want to go off and be single instead of with whoever here. But then there is, there is the lovers. Let's see, this is weird. King of Wands. You're going to have somebody else coming in, so you're going to have choices is what it feels like. There's, there could be a Leo coming in. I get Leo potential Sagittarius here. So you may choose to be single, but then somebody else comes in. Aquarius. Then at that point, you're going to have a choice. Do you be single or do you be with that person? Um, yeah, there's somebody approaching you. There's like three different people here. There was the liar. There was the one that was trying to tempt you here. And then there's the king of wands. Right? So 
two of wands is also here. I feel like you're wanting to explore more of life here, Aquarius. You're not want see that's the thing. I feel like relationships make you feel stuck. And the thing is is that you're not wanting to feel stuck. Aquarius, you're wanting to live life here. All right, maybe they're like trying to control you or something, or you find relationships to be controlling here, but you know, whatever, Aquarius, whatever. It's whatever you feel in the situation. It's like I said, it's a general reading, so if you don't feel this way, it's, it may not be resonating for you, you know? King of Swords is following out. We have the King of Swords. King of Swords is yourself, and the male or female does not matter, but Ten of Pentacles is also what's coming your way. Ten of Pentacles is a large sum of money. It's the family, it's the home here, it's overall uh, abundance and stability. There's also the dogs here too, Aquarius. Uh, let's go over here and let's see more for you. Emperor, some of you guys, your business could be growing here, Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles with the Emperor, yeah, that is business growth here. Your income's increasing. Some of you guys could be getting promoted if you're at a job here. Then there's a tower. See, there's a tower again. There's two people falling out of this tower now. Let's start with one and now we got two. Aquarius. You're moving forward. Hermit. Yeah, there may be some people you're moving out of your life here. Is what it feels like for you. You're moving them. You're you're kicking. There's two people you're kicking out of your life. Two people you're cutting out of your life here. This is the third time the tower has popped up in your reading. So there's some people you're deciding to be distant towards. And you're moving towards a new beginning within your life here. And it feels like yourself. You may be kicking some people out of your life. And you may be celebrating it. Aquarius. So I don't know what these people were doing. Well, I kind of do. Because there's they were trying to lie to you. Maybe it was two liars that were in your life. One was a liar. Then you moved on to somebody else. And then you've seen something weird. Some I don't know. Something strange with the other person. Moved on from that. Somebody else is coming in. But then I just feel like you're you're going to be like, well, I just kind of like being the hermit. That's what I feel. Some of you guys may be like, oh, relationship. And you may go for it, you know. And that's totally fine. Because it's what you want to do. Right? So let's see more what we have going on for Aquarius. Yeah, it feels like you're going after what you really want for your life here. And some of the, some of you guys, that is love. All right, you have there's like two different equi I know it's gonna be confusing to be like, what do you mean? What are you talking about? You know, whatever. It's a general reading. <laughs> um, some of you guys, that is gonna be somebody. Others of you, it may just be being single. You know, we have two different Aquariuses that's watching this video. Is what this is telling me. So you may go after somebody that you really really want, and others of you are gonna be like, I just like being the hermit. You know whatever but there's a lover coming in that mirrors you it's somebody here that's very similar to you they're a reflection of you they're you know you got a lot in common here you're similar you're attracting in your heart's desire maybe maybe you're attracting in somebody here that is your heart's desires there's something here you've been asking god for you are about to receive a quick we got king of wands see once again you could I, yeah uh, guys you guys could have a king of wands coming your way a fire sign aries leo or a sagittarius maybe this is somebody Maybe this is somebody you actually really want. I get heavy Sagittarius here. Like I said, heavy Sagittarius Leo, but any any fire sign really. But I feel like this is somebody here that's a part of your heart's desires. Um, some of you guys, this person could be new love. Maybe you don't even know them yet. But either way, yeah, some of you guys are manifesting this. That's what it feels like. Got somebody rushing in. There's somebody rushing in to talk to you, but I see you walking away from them. Aquarius Temperance. We got Sagittarius here again. You're ignoring. See what's it? You got <laughs> okay. Ace of Pentacles. Almost feel there's like there's like two Sagittariuses here though. And there's one you want, and then there's one that you're ignoring. You guys also have a new money opportunity coming in for you here. Yeah, some of you guys are committing to your spirituality. Some of you guys will be finding yourself in a higher level of commitment with somebody here. Some of you guys will be getting married. You know, this is taking a whole other turn. So, like I said, there's, okay, there's somebody coming in that I feel like you're going to end up really liking. Aquarius, and you could potentially get married to that person. 
Um, like I said, others of you may choose to be the hermit here. Because I see it kind of going split for some reason. Maybe because there's somebody here that's indecisive about whether or not they want to be the hermit or they want to be with somebody. Um, but I feel like overall you choose whatever makes you happy here, Aquarius. I feel like you're about to have financial abundance. There's a ten of see, that's I don't like the ten of swords. There's a six of pentacles, high priestess. There, okay, yeah, there's some sort of betrayal, but I feel like you're aware of the betrayal here with the ten of swords. So you're gonna have justice over betrayal is what it feels like. Like there's some sort of justice for somebody here that betrayed you. You may be having your your money bouncing out financially here. Um. Yes. Like I said, there's somebody betrayed you, but you know it, and I feel like you're getting justice over it, Aquarius. Yeah, somebody betrayed you by, like, maybe entertaining other options while they were with you, which you know is never good. <laughs> uh, Ace of Pentacles, you guys have a new money opportunity coming in for you that's going to provide a lot of growth for you. Some of you guys be saving up to buy a home. Comment down below. You're saving up to buy a home, Aquarius, and overall, you're attracting in your heart's desires. Which some of you guys, that could be new opportunities, it could be new places, new love here, new something, new new ideas, new creativity here, passion. Overall, you're very deep into your emotions and your feelings. And you're, I feel like you're getting truth and clarity about what it is you want in your life here. And you're celebrating. Okay? And you're celebrating the fact that you're getting your heart's desires. Once again, there's somebody here coming in that's in their feelings about you. But, I, th okay, there could be somebody here that's missing some pet or animal they used to have. That could be you. Maybe that's this person here. We got King of Pentacles. We got the Knight of Pentacles. It feels like you guys are studying for your future here. You're also releasing restrictions. You're releasing binds. Aquarius. Once again, you're focusing on self-love, self-care. Queen of Wands, we have Fire. Some of you guys can have Fire in your birth chart. Fire is Aries or Sagittarius. But it feels like overall you're being led and guided here towards something. What that is, I don't know. I'm going to pull more cards on that. But there's somebody here that's in their feelings about you. King of Pentacles, Earth, uh, Queen of Wands here, Fire too. So it could be Fire sign or Earth sign. Earth is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Fire is Aries or Sagittarius here. But uh, you're being led and guided towards some big contract in your life here. We talk about big contracts. That could be for a career. It could be for material assets. It could be the marriage contract as well. Um, but overall, what you want for your life is just up ahead for you, and it could be involving a big contract, Aquarius, all right? Some of you guys could be getting married in the future. Some of you guys could be buying the home in the future, actually. It's either a marriage or a home. Okay. It's what I feel. But it's not, whatever's whatever's most precious to you is what's coming in, Okay. King of Swords. King of Swords is yourself, or the male or female, it does not matter. But look, yeah, see, once again, there's somebody you're walking away from, you're cutting out of your life, and then after that, you're getting everything you've been wishing for. Aquarius, Hermit. Once again, some of you guys be going into Hermit mode for a little bit here. Some of you guys could have Virgo within your birth chart, but overall, you're moving forward towards your abundance, Aquarius. And you're getting surprise blessings coming into your life here. Chariot, you're moving forward, you're ascending here, you're achieving, acquiring. Some of you guys be getting the vehicle fixed, some of you guys be buying a vehicle here. Queen of Swords, once again, Queen of Swords is yourself, female or female, does that matter. We have you guys connected with the Earth Mother Gaia here. And once again, you're moving towards a new beginning in your life. You may be getting like new ideas about what's next. You're getting justice, Aquarius, justice. Once again, you're getting justice, justice for betrayals. You're getting financial balance here. You're getting, um, Good karma. Once again, you're being told you can move in whatever direction that you want. Aquarius, and I feel like you're celebrating this. Okay? There's celebration to be had here. What you're envisioning for your future is coming in for you once again. And look, there was somebody here that was ignoring you before that's trying to reappear back in your life. They're trying to reconcile. After they were ghosting you. You, you know, be serious. Um, but there's somebody coming in that's like extremely interesting to you or, or something. Yeah, look, there's somebody here that regrets what they said or did to you, but it's only because it backfired off onto them. They're trying to reappear back in your life, Aquarius. Um, some of you, this person could be a Scorpio. 
But overall, I feel like you're calling in what you desire in your life here, which may be success. It may be victory here. Aquarius. Um, yeah, there's somebody that's, there's somebody here you've given a lot to, but it's like they're ignoring you here, but I feel like they're regretting ignoring you. Yeah, they're regretting it. They're regretting ignoring you. Some of you guys, this may be a Pisces. There may be a Pisces that was ignoring you, but now they regret it. And overall, you got abundance. You got stability. Or not, oh yeah, stability. But you got abundance and happiness coming into your life. And you may be cutting off cords with whoever was ignoring you. So overall, Aquarius, what we see here is... There's somebody that was ignoring you. You're cutting them off. There's a liar cutting them off. You're cutting off somebody here that was tempting you. Or trying to tempt you and doing something they you shouldn't have been doing. You know what I feel like the temptation was? I feel like the temptation was is that maybe you had somebody come in, but then you found out they were already in a relationship. So it wasn't a good thing. And then you have somebody else coming in. Aquarius. You have two people. There's two people is a thing. There's somebody that's in their feelings about you. King of Pentacles. And then there's also a King of Wands here too. So once again, you're going to be at a choice. And then you're going to be at a choice. Do you be single? Do you be in a relationship? Who do you pick? All right. You got options. And you also got the Ten of Pentacles, right? I, I believe the Ten of Pentacles appeared somewhere here. But the Ten of Pentacles is a large sum of money. Strength. We have Leo. Leo. Chariot. We have Cancer and Zodiac Sun potentially. But I feel like once again, you guys are moving forward towards success, victory, achievement here. You're deciding to take a leap of faith towards something. What is that? Toward maybe maybe meditating. Some of you guys be meditating out in nature here. Maybe some of you guys need to. When you go when you go connect with nature, you're gonna be receiving some psychic messages, Aquarius. Um, King of Swords. It's going to king of swords be yourself and male and female doesn't matter but i feel like you're going to be receiving some psychic messages about some justice in your life or maybe some of you guys be receiving some psychic messages about a libra crows we have the crows wanting to connect with you maybe you're going to be seeing crows when you're outside aquarius um, but overall you're going to be reaching enlightenment here once again we have the spirit world wanting to connect with you the spirit world's trying to send you some messages aquarius okay me okay message okay oh three of swords yeah no I feel like they're trying to send you some messages about what to stay away from, what's going to break your heart here, what is deceptive, what is, what is, what does not appear, what is not what it appears to be, right, is what I feel like, Aquarius. And some of you guys may be moving, once again we have crows here again, got love, and you're bouncing out both the spiritual and the material. You got money coming in too. Aquarius. So let's go over here. And let's see more for you. And we have the universe coming in wanting to work with you, wanting to bring you more of your heart's desires, maybe wanting to bring you a new money opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Pentacles, wanting to bring you more financial independence, financial abundance here. And some of you guys will be building up a nest egg here as well, maybe building up your retirement or something, Aquarius. Um, I feel like don't walk away from success before it happens. It's also another thing you're being told, Aquarius. So you're about to have opportunities and offers coming in. You're about you're about to have your big breakthrough moment, right? Uh, let's go over here and let's see the spirit message for you. Okay, we have we have a lot of cards wanting to fall out, but there's like ten of them. I'm not taking ten cards. So let's see more for Aquarius. I want to show you guys something here. Look. This is Cleopatra. And this is the bat. Okay? Now the bat talks about flexibility. It talks about adaptability. Uh, 
Cleopatra in this card talks about um, being in your divine feminine power. Okay. Whether you're a man or a woman doesn't matter. 55 with Libra. Once again, there's Libra here. There's a Libra. I see Libra. Aquarius. Like I said, you're going to be receiving some psychic messages about a Libra. We have Libra. We have Capricorn here too. 58 with Capricorn. Okay, so why stop sliding cards, please? 38, another 8. 8 is abundance. 8 is infinity. 38 with the Black Panther. 43 with the rabbit. The rabbit is good luck. The rabbit is abundance. But it's like with the Black Panther, you're reclaiming your power. Um, Capricorn talks about setting up healthy boundaries. So some of you guys may be setting up some healthy boundaries with people, places, uh, like work or something in people. Setting up those healthy boundaries, reclaiming your power, maybe saying no, moving towards your abundance, and Libra. I don't remember what Libra talks about. I know Libra is generally kind of like just balance, but let's see more. Five. Five is change. So I feel like your life is changing to be more abundant. It says, I am balanced. Okay, yeah, balance. Sitting at the crossroads, Libra weighs their options diligently. They are no rush. They understand the beauty that could come from going both ways. Harmony is the key here, and Libra works to ensure that they make decisions that tip the scales in their favor. The beauty of Libra is a reminder of how important creating balance is in life. Libra understands that it's not about all work and no play, but rather a mixture of work, play, rest, and rejuvenation. Libra is here to encourage you to take inventory of your life and identify the areas that need re rebalancing. Success isn't always so sweet or worth celebrating if it leads to burnout. Focus on living a life that brings happiness to you. In true Libra fashion, seek out what levels your scales and connects you to your higher self. The question is, what can I incorporate into my life to create sustainable balance? Okay. Knight of Swords going on with the knight of swords yeah there's somebody rushing in but i feel like you may be setting up some boundaries with them okay you're once again you have the spirit world wanting to connect with you. you may have past loved ones ancestors here wanting to connect with you aquarius we also have you connected with your pluto sign um ten of cups ten of cups is what's coming your way so ten of cups it can be the happy relationship the happy marriage happy family it can be the happily ever after yeah some of you guys may be getting married in the future it could be happening for you. Ace of Swords, maybe having truth and clarity about this. Three of Wands, you're looking towards your future. What's next for you? What you want for your life is just ahead of you. Somebody, yeah, there is somebody coming and wanting to marry you. Um, once again, you're going to have a choice of what, what you do with that, whether or not you accept that. But a lot of you guys are choosing um, success, right? It's like you had a lot of different options on how you could go about life. But it feels like you chose maybe your career. Some of you, you may be choosing your career over love. Okay. That's what I feel like. But I feel like some of you, yeah, some of you guys may be doing that. Some of you may be finding a way to try to balance out both here. But I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be just kind of going down a different avenue. Right? You're about to have miracles happening in your life here, Aquarius. Okay? You're leaping towards a new beginning in your life here. You're leaping towards a new chapter of your life. You're doing things differently in a new way here. And you're attracting in a lot of money. There's new ways to make money, right, Aquarius? And you're making that money here. Judgment. We have you guys, once again, reconnecting back with your spirituality. We have the universe coming in and blessing you. Blessing you with a bunch of gifts. Money here. Abundance. Aquarius. It's all being offered to you. It is coming in. Okay. You're leaping towards it. So there's the sums. I don't like the sum of swords, though. Magician. Four of swords. There's the death. See, this is what I don't... I don't like the magician. I don't like the devil. Well, I don't like it combined, is what I should say. Star. Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's almost... There's somebody here trying to manifest you. 
somebody here trying to manifest you being back into their life and they're trying to do this in secret. Aquarius. I almost feel like this person's trying to put like a love spell on you or something. And yeah, they're trying to do this in secret though. But I feel like the thing is, is you're going to know about it. You, you know about it. You know about it, but I feel like you're not even, like, addressing it. I feel like you're kind of just like, eh, whatever. That type of vibe here. But I feel like overall you're going after your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes. So, like I said, Aquarius. You're leaving behind somebody here that, or maybe two people, that were lying to you. Then you have two people coming towards you romantically. Two other people. Who you choose, that's going to be up to you. You could end up getting married in the future. I feel like both of them are wanting to marry you. Like I said, who you pick, that's going to be up to you. If you choose to be with anybody, that's going to be up to you. Because some of you guys could be like, oh, let's get married. Others of you are going to be like, no, I don't really want that. Because I'm seeing like there's this split. But I feel like what's causing the split here is there's Libra. All right? And Libra's known for their, like, kind of being indecisive. So I feel like that's what's causing this reading to be so weird. Alright, so some of you guys may be tapping into, like, some Libra placements in your birth chart. Or for some reason, you're embodying Libra. Okay? But I think that's what's making this reading so weird. So split. You know what I'm saying? Because normally it's just one way. But it feels like it's going both ways. <laughs> and it's driving me nuts. Because I just want it to be one way here but i feel like that's that's the thing for you honestly and some of you guys may have a libra coming your way i do see libra or you're receiving psychic messages about a libra i don't know libras libra's popping up but i feel like it's what's disrupting the reading so that is what i have for you if you want to see more content for your sign, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find even more content on my website too. All right, so bye guys.